Howdy y'all, this pipe here, coming to you from a nice, cool, overcasty day here in South Carolina. And on today's episode, I'm going to talk to you and discuss about my trip to McCraney's tobacco shop in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. First off, housekeeping, my good old Pearson Dracula, mm, hand, with some good old rat trays old gallery and I am enjoying me a nice cup of Maxwell House in my Star Wars Dark Side Half Marathon 2017 mug yeah I ran that thing but anyway how to get the McCraney's how to find out how to find McCraney's well Charlotte's about two hours away from here and me and my buddy are planning on going to a concert up there, Anthrax and Kill Switch, which is epic. Um, but we had the idea, he's a cigar guy back, he's a cigar guy. We had an idea, let's get there a little bit early, go find us a nice shop, chill out for a second, enjoy a smoke, grab a beer or something, they got him, and then head on to the ship. Well, we don't know, we don't know squat about Charlotte. So I, on a whim, contacted Mr. Uh, Brian Levine. And if you don't know who that is, he is um, the host of the uh, Pipes Magazine radio show. P yeah, Pipes Magazine radio show, which is also a podcast, and is also an industry giant. He lives in that area. He knows the area. So I decided to, I hit him up on Facebook, said, hey, me and my buddy are going to a concert in Charlotte in your area. You know any good, uh, any good uh, shops near the venue? And tell you the truth, I don't, think, I don't know if it's gonna get back to me. Like, who's this peon right here? But no. Within the hour, I say, he's like, yeah, there's two shops, McCraney's and another one. McCraney's is next to, is close to the sh to uh, the venue, and I'll join you there if I can. I'm like, hell yeah, that's nice. So, yesterday rolls around the concert day, and. We were playing I'm leaving here uh, enough time to get to the shop around four-ish, five-ish. But life happens and we didn't get there till six. Well, we got there. And if you're not familiar with McCraney's, like I was not familiar with McCraney's, it is in a shopping center. But it's not within the shops, it's out on its own in the parking lot. And it looks like a little house. A nice looking house. And disclaimer, I didn't take any video, I didn't take any photos, anything like that. Again, I made before I don't like public um, public filming, because to me it's just weird. And I don't so if I was in this, the shoes of anybody in that store. Some weird fat kid walking in with his camera and going, hey, look at this right here. No, that's, that's weird. I'll get uncomfortable and probably mad. Anyway, go in. And meet to your left. There's the cash register and a bar. The bar, no, uh, 90 degrees to the left. at a little bit. But there's the cashier, the counter. My um, dog's probably going to jump up and make hand gestures. And behind the cash register, there's a, uh, like, uh, Sat, uh, sacked, um, sleeve tobaccos and cigarettes, and um, and on the counters here, little accessories like tampers and pipe cleaners and cork stuff. And in front, they have a selection of their house brand tin tobaccos, which I never heard of before. But again, new guy here. When you go around, you go around the bar or follow the bar around. And behind that bar is the bulk tobacco and a lot of Dunhills and Peterson tobaccos and some other ones. I can't remember off the top of my head. And right there on that part of the bar is stools. You can sit down, smoke, ashtrays. And they had some open open tins of tobaccos. I don't know if they're samples or not, but they're open. You can I guess smell them, see if you like it or not. I don't know. And behind the and behind or across from that bar is like a little seating area. A couple chairs, ashtray, uh, 
coffee maker, sink, uh, and a Coke machine. Sorry. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now, let's go back to the front door. You go to the front door to the right, or is a big, is a like jewelry case looking things. And there's your pipes, um, your more high end accessories like high end lighters, ashtrays, some uh, cleaning tool like reamers and stuff like that, the expensive stuff. And on the wall, they had um, state pipes, some Nordings. Uh, that's all I can remember some Nordings. There's some uh, Costellos, they had some Costellos there. Um, but wasn't looking to buy a pipe. And, and in that same area, they had a crap, crap ton of McClellan. Now, I had never seen anything like that. Especially around here, tobacco shops are not very pipe friendly. No, they don't hate pipe people, they just don't carry all the pipe stuff. And I like kids and candy stores, I was like, holy crap, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before in my life. I mean, I'm, that's how bad it is. I've never seen Mixture 965 in the wild. Yeah, I've seen it online. And I try to order, you know, anniversary or McClellan's anniversary. It's always sold out. But anyway. Also, the front door, you walk straight from the front door, so there's a cigar humidor. I didn't go in the cigar. I have no interest in going in there. My buddy went in there and got a nice cigar. He said he really liked it, Archo Fuente or some crap. I don't know. Well, the best part about it, the trip, was Mr. Brian Levine showed up. I got all nerded out and geeked out. I'm like, holy crap, it was Mr. Brian Levine. And I was, I was nervous because I'm a noob. I don't know crap about this hobby, except what I like and what I don't like, and nothing too technical. And if you ever listen to his web, his uh, radio show, he, he's he's probably he's probably forgotten more about tobacco and pipes than I ever, I'll ever remember or I'll ever know. But I went to talk to him, we started talking, and then I just asked, "How was your Disney trip?" And we talked about Disney World for a good forty-five minutes to an hour. Now this shop closes at seven, and Mr. Levine introduced me to the um, owner, Mr. Todd, and we talked and talked about Disney World and a little bit of pipe stuff, a little bit of pipe. He he he, he had schooled me on some things that I didn't know, but yeah, the best part about it, about that part was this community I like so the pipe community I like so much is he wasn't talking down to me. He wasn't, you know, you young whippersnapper. What the? Why don't you know how to do? It's like here, man. This is what you do. This is this. Okay. Got it? Yeah. That was the best part about it. But I think I asked about, I understand the Dunhill size grades or um, do you really have to wait 48 hours before smoking your pipe over again kind of questions. He gave me his, he gave me his opinions. So, and that was very cool. Um, I got me a haul. I bought me, bought me some stuff just because, again, it's there. It's in front of me. Prices were reasonable for a, a brick and mortar. Um, yeah, you can go online and get them cheaper, but taking the fact that taxes and shipping. Like taxes for me, I order from, I order, I order from uh, pipes, uh, uh, smoking pipes. That is, I'm in state with them, so I got to pay their taxes. So it's, it comes up about the same thing. And my dogs are eating uh, acorns. Awesome. But, but here, best part. I was trying to be all cool and collect over on Mr. Brian. I failed. I nerded out really bad. I got geeked out. And I got into a uh, son of a book. <laughs> See that? Yeah, I'm a nerd. Sorry. Got real awkward after that. No, I didn't. It didn't. So, yeah, we, you know, we went our separate ways and I invited him to the concert, but he said, no, it's not, his, it's not his bag. He's more of a Bon Jovi thing. Bon Jovi fam. I'm like, same time period. Yeah, he didn't want to come. But after that, you know, my buddy went over to uh, the Fillmore, which is about, it's a five mile ride, but 15 minutes with traffic. And we saw Kill Switch Engage and uh, Anthrax. 
Second time seeing Anthrax, first time seeing Kill Switch, I was not disappointed whatsoever. Anthrax put on a great show like I saw before and what I've seen on videos, and Kill Switch was amazing. Very, us, they were big back in the 2000s. They kind of tapered off a little bit. I haven't heard too much about too much from them, but they did not disappoint. And then they played Hoy, Hoy Diver, uh, Ronnie James Dio's Hoy Diver, and Mr. Belladonna came out and sang it. Go to my Instagram, I'll show you a little clip of it. But anyway, that was my day yesterday. Best part about yesterday, beside the concert, missing, be, meeting Mr. Levine, is I got a haul. I don't know, I don't know if it was a Yabo or a Strabo, because I got it from a store. But. Sorry, I get notifications on my phone, but people follow me and crap. I never heard of it. All right. First things first. Got two cans. McCraney's Ribbon, which is a matured and fully rubbed red Virginia pipe tobacco. Beautifully aged red Virginia like no other, brimming with rich, mellow flavors as only nature can provide. So it's come from 2011 crop and 2017. So here I'm confused. Is this a 2017? Can or a 10 or a 2011 10? I don't know. Help. Um, Scudo. Just because I saw it. They're, again, they're salt in the wild. And I always want to try it. So here it is. And again, same thing. They're salt in the wild. Usually sold out. McClellan's 40th anniversary. Looking forward to this. 2017. Now, here's probably the best thing I got, in my opinion. I got to get to this by a certain person. Never heard of it, never heard of it before, but it's McCle McClellan's, a Blakeney's, I guess, Blakeney's Best Tawny Flake. It is a, a straight Virginia tobacco. Is it red? I don't know. Elegant, flu cure Virginia flakes. Blah, 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 blah. Mellow with black knee, Blake knees, lucid toasting process, filled pipe with pleasure. Sure. But, 2006. This is a 12 year old tin of tobacco. What the hell do I want to do with this? It's like me getting a Star Wars toy. I don't want to open this thing. It's going to be worth more. Not monetarily, but taste wise. But I do want to smoke this pretty bad. My plan is I want to go try to find a younger, damn dog, a younger can and do like a comparison. See if I can tell the difference. There's a pin. So, um, I think right now though I'm going to crack that escudo because it isn't. It's a, a standard, I guess. And head down to my local pipe shop or tobacco shop the merchant and give it a shot get a beer but anyway thanks for joining me thanks for watching um the questions again ask us a question about the mccraney's what's all that stuff mean all that help me out questions down the bottom comment let me know facebook me yeah go facebook instagram this pipe same thing i had some clips from the show last night you got some other funny crap on there um, I'm also on a podcast, shameless plug, the Mickey Dudes podcast, which is a Disney podcast. So go and follow those guys. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, uh, yeah, all that stuff. We're pretty good. I think we are. The better when I'm on the show, which is not all the time. But subscribe. And by subscribing, you're not just giving me some heads up, but you're going to see who I follow and connect you more to the YPPC community. You all have a good day.